I love looking through my telescope at the stars, imagining what's out there and the amazing adventures I could have. Would you like to come on a journey with me? Let's see what we can find. Tonight, I'm going to be reading There's No Place Like Space by Tish Raab. I'm the cat in the hat and we're off to have fun. We'll visit the planets, the stars and the sun. There is no place like space. I will prove it to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Jump in, here we go. We'll fly up so high we can dance on the moon and play games in the sky. We will swing past the stars and in case you have missed them, you will soon see the planets in our solar system. There are nine of these planets that circle the sun and soon you'll be able to name every one. Mercury's close to the sun's burning light. It's hot in the daytime, but freezing at night. On Venus, the weather is always the same. Hot, dry and windy with no chance of rain. Can you guess the next planet? Well, here is a clue. It's my home and home to thing one and thing two. You've been living on it each day since your birth. It is third from the sun. It is our planet, Earth. It spins all the time, round and round like a top. And it, it turns once every day and it never will stop. This question has thing one and two in a tizzy. If the earth's always spinning, why don't we feel dizzy? We don't feel the earth as it spins on its way because we're spinning right with it right now, every day. Next here is Mars. It is the colour of rust. We sneeze, we sneeze here because it is covered in dust. Travel to Jupiter and you will find it is bigger than all the other planets combined. Saturn has rings. It is so light. What do you think? float in the ocean and not even sink. A planet can have satellites that surround it. Uranus has lots of these objects around it. There are colours in space. I will show some to you. Neptune, you see, is a beautiful blue. If you lived on Pluto, it would not be nice. Some astronomers think it is covered with ice. It is chilly and cold every night and all day from the sun's just a speck in the sky far away. An astronomer studies what's up in the sky. Think two wants to be one. In fact, so do I. We have seen all nine planets. Now here is a trick to remember their names and remember them quick. Say Mallory, Valerie, Emily, Meters just served us 999 pizzas. The first letter of each of these words is the same as the first letter in each of these planets' names. Now here is a game you can play in the skies. Connect all the stars you can see with your eyes. It's Star Doctor Dot. Use your imaginations. You'll soon see big pictures we call constellations. The dog, the great bear, the, and Leo the lion, Taurus the bull, a hunter, and Orion. the sky may look small like a dot but it's really a big glowing ball and it's hot and 
there's one star by far that's our favourite one. We can't with, live without it. The star called the sun. From the earth it looks big. There is one reason why. It is the closest to the earth of the stars in the sky. But be careful and never look right at the sun. Your eyes could get hurt and that would not be fun. How big is the sun? We just heard right this minute. A million of our earths could fit all right in it. Oh, oh, look at the time. We must go very soon. But first we must take a look, a quick look at the moon. The moon does not shine in the sky in the night, but like a big mirror, reflects the sun's light. The universe is a mysterious place. We are only just learning what happens in space. So I brought you a present to look in the sky. Just put this telescope close up to your eye. Oh dear, I must go fly back up to the stars and take thing one, thing two out to dinner on Mars. To discover and it might be you who looks up in the sky and finds something new. I hope you enjoyed our adventure. Come back again.